Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A was announced uh, while I was away. I haven't had a chance to even look at his details properly myself. So this is going to be a video going over those details. I know some of you guys will have seen them. It's not exactly a breaking news video, but going to be talking about my thoughts on him and of course the potential of him coming to global very soon. Um, because of course, you know, with everything that we've seen in the news and the announcement of the Int Gotenks EZA, there certainly is a possibility that we could be seeing this uh, sooner rather than later. So, firstly, we're going to take a look at his Super EZA details. Obviously, his uh, super attack effects don't change with a Super EZA, uh, nor does the leader skill. It's just the passive. Basically, just an update to make the unit usable again is the idea of the Super EZA. Um, so his super attack effects, bear in mind he doesn't raise defense on any of these, right? So you have the super ghost kamikaze attack, which is the key is 9 or 10, uh, which raises attack for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy. Then the charging uh, ultra boo boo volleyball attack is the 11 key one which is the massively raised attack for one turn and does immense damage. And then the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack is the 12 key, does supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. So out of his three super attacks, the one where you get the full 12 key is actually the weakest one in terms of the super attack effects. It only does supreme damage instead of immense and there is no attack raise. It has lowering defense, but that's not exactly a hugely relevant um, effect really for a super attack anymore these days. I don't know if it ever was really outside of like the Broly event and stuff like that, right? So you're going to be wanting to go for 9, 10 or 11 key usually. But let's take a look at what his passive is looking like now. Because of course, with a super easy A, this is the thing that changes. This is the uh, like make or break, right? So we have the super Z awakened passive. Attack and defense 150%. Then attack 200% and defense 100% when performing a super attack. So pretty big on super attack buffs, which is good. On super attack buffs take into account like the support on the rotation and all that kind of stuff as well. So that is very good. Uh, super class allies uh, defense 33%. And Extreme Class Allies attack 33% for three turns from the first appearance. That's interesting. Um, they buffs Extreme Class Allies as well. What is actually very interesting about that is at the end we're going to take a look at. I brought up the list of the 200% teams that he's on. Um, and this attack 33% for Extreme Class Allies could actually be pretty useful for uh, one of those team build scenarios. So that's interesting. Uh, but that's only for three turns. Gives a little bit of support. Obviously, giving Superclass allies extra defense is pretty good. That should include himself as well. Uh, then he gets attack and defense 100% when key is 11 or less. So if you're getting the 11 or the 9 or 10 key super, which as we've already said, in terms of the super attack effect, is the one that you want to go for anyway. You're getting an extra attack and defense 100%. And then he gets attack and defense 50% up to 150 with each super attack performed. Okay, so the more supers you do, the more he gets built up. That's good as well. Uh, chance to perform a crit and reduce damage received 50% for the turn when key is 11 and all allies in the uh, attacking in the same turn obtain key spheres. So I don't know if this is a new this is a new wording for the passive, right? Because I'm I'm assuming what this means then is yeah, once everyone has picked up orbs then this kicks in, which means he will have this damage reduction for like AoE attacks, which is really good, obviously. That's, you know, the downfall of many a unit is not having good defense against AoEs in some of these events, right? So that's actually pretty good. And it's crit chance as well, so that's good. Um, and then he has a high chance to dodge, uh, plus an additional chance to dodge 33% when performing a super when key is 12 so that means if you have 12 key, he has a 50% chance to dodge. And then when he supers, he gets an additional 33% chance to dodge. I believe those are calculated separately, right? Because of the way dodge works in these things. I don't believe that gives him an 83% chance to dodge after supering. That would be quite crazy. But obviously that would be very good. But I don't think that's how it works. Obviously this discussion was had recently in the community with the Int Gotenks EZA. Where he gets the extra 20% chance to dodge um after dodging but it's like a separate just 20 percent dodge rather than putting his dodge up to 70 or 90 depending on uh which form 
that you're actually in. So basically, uh, even the same as pre EZA, you want to be going for the 9, 10 or 11 key super. That means you're going to be having damage reduction, a built in high chance to crit, as well as getting an extra 100% attack and defense from the passive as well. The 12 key basically just gives him a bunch of extra dodge, which I don't really think is that good, especially considering you're missing out on the extra defensive buff. Um, it, the actual super attack effect itself is considerably worse. So it's kind of like his initial release where you really just didn't want to be getting the 12 key. Otherwise, it would be a super uh, unimpressive like turn or setup for him. Um, and so like post super easy A, that's going to be very much the case. That I think that most of the time you're going to be wanting to get his 9, 10 or 11 key super. Ideally the 11 key, right? Because it's the one that massively raises attack. So I could imagine him doing some pretty cool attack stats. Uh, once you've got this part of his passive built up where he's super three times, um, I can imagine his 11 key super being able to hit quite hard. So that's certainly very interesting. Um, I'll do a video about the super easy A stage and the details uh, when we know what those are going to be. I did one for the Goku one and I know a lot of people appreciate that. Um, however, the qu interesting question now that we talked about his details is when is this going to come out for global? Because you can see here this is coming out on the 18th of April on JP. And we know from the news that we got over here on the uh, update for the celebration that the Int Gotenks EZA for Global is coming out on the 19th. So this came out on JP already. In fact, we can bring up the uh, Int Gotenks here. Came out on the 9th of April. So his, uh, his EZA has been out on JP for a week already. And then the uh, EZA is coming to Global 10 days after its release on JP. So potentially this could mean that the Super EZA for Gotenks is going to come out 10 days after it comes out on JP or at least somewhere within the similar sort of time frame, right? It doesn't have to be exactly 10 days. Um, but the fact that it is releasing after the In Gotenks EZA on JP does make me obviously very um, skeptical. I don't think this is coming out at the same time on both, right? We would have something in the news on Global already if this was coming out on Global as well. So it'll be interesting to see what they decide to do in terms of dropping this EZA for Global because, you know, we're... Getting these extra little bits and pieces from the Topo celebration, like the Int Gotenks EZA. We don't know whether we're going to get any of those other sub EZAs. I imagine they would keep them for the actual Topo celebration, right? Like the Int Topo, the Physical Vibrienne. I mean, the Sayaman and the... Um, I can't remember what the other one now was. Oh, no, it was Sayaman and Vibrienne. And then there's the AGL Gotenks, right? I don't know if they would save those for part of the Topo celebration. Of course, the AGL Gotenks one would make sense to come to Global early because... It's alongside the other Gotenkses. But this news thing doesn't have the uh, bit of info about the Tech Gogeta Dokon event returning. Which of course returned on JP because that's how you get the medals to awaken the AGL Gotenks. Right? So if you pull him off of this support banner that they're showing here. Um, then of course you need to be able to awaken him. So that's why that uh, banner came back on JP. But there's been no mention of that in the news uh, for global yet either so with in gotenks coming out 10 days after uh, the jp release for global i could kind of see the super easy a1 being the same although to be fair if we're talking 10 days exactly 10 days takes us up to the 28th which is when last year that's the start date of golden week so I could see this coming out maybe on like the 26th because they're dropping the Int Gotenks one on a Friday, Friday the 19th, the same time as the World Tournament starts. Talked about that in the earlier video today. But I could see if they are going to drop it on Global as well, then the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A dropping as early as, uh, well, it could drop as early as like next week, Monday or Tuesday, potentially. Uh, but it could drop Friday the 26th. I don't think they'll drop it on the 28th, especially because the 28th is a Sunday. But if Golden Week is going to be starting on the 28th or even the 29th, just so it's at the start of the actual new week, uh, the Monday the 29th, I don't see this dropping um, on the Sunday. But we'll never know, right? Like, there's nothing in the news about it on Global, but it's uh, interesting to see 
what is going to come of this. And Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks being the Super Easy A is pretty cool. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Super Saiyan 3 category and form in general. Although we definitely need a lot of buffs, right? Like we got this new Goku that could be very good. Uh, the Rose has the Super Saiyan 3 170 lead, although he's kind of weird for a Super Saiyan 3 team because he doesn't have over in a flash or limit breaking form. Um, and of course this Gotenks, you're ideally going to be wanting to get that 11 key. So I suppose having someone around on the team that doesn't have over in a flash so you're not overwhelmed with key could be kind of useful. But of course we will try him out on a bunch of different team builds as and when he does come to global. Whether that will be saved for the Topo celebration which will be in, uh, was it like August, early August I think it is after the anniversary is wrapping up. Um, or they do decide to drop it early for global. Um, and then I did say we would mention it here, of course. Here is the uh, the 200% uh, leads for Gotenks. I wish this would fit on the screen slightly better, but this is the Dokon Info browser that I have. So you can see there, one of his 200% leaders is the Tech LR Zamasu. So post Super Easy A, he gives Tech LR Zamasu 33% attack support when he's on the rotation with him. Which is kind of crazy when you think about, like, with some of the team builds that we have now, um, like, Zamasu can hit incredibly hard when he's fully built up. So having this Gotenks on his team with the 33% attack support will be really good. And then, of course, like, Kefla is on this guy's team as well. So as fusions, they will go well together. It's kind of an interesting team build. Um, and then, of course, we have units like the 8-year Duo and Margin Vegeta who are a bit outdated now. But the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a 200% leader for him as well. Although, unfortunately, his team is starting to get a lot of buffs in terms of new units or easy A's that none of them want to be in slot 1. So they're all kind of vying for places on the rotation. But that could certainly be a very interesting setup. They share all the Super Saiyan 3 links. Goku gives himself a bunch of key. So you don't need to worry about orbs for him. And then you can kind of pick up the orbs in such a way that you can manipulate the field so that Gotenks is getting the orbs that he needs to get 11 key, which I think is certainly very interesting. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks Super Easy A down below. Is he better than AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku? I need to see like in game. I haven't seen any calcs for like what his defense is looking like or anything like that, but he certainly looks like he could be very, very interesting. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you think he will be coming to global soon or do you think we are going to have to wait let me know your thoughts down below so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new check out the links down below for the discord and the merch store and i will see you all again soon have a good one